All right, Gary asked how I was able to line this photo that somebody else took up with uh, Google Earth so well. Um, well, first of all, the, the photo bucket account it came from is help. Well, let's just do this one from scratch. Here's here's another one from the same account. Let's do it from scratch. So, <clears throat> first, we need to figure out where the hell it is. So, we can go to FlightAware. Is the the photo bucket account said it was a flight from Reno to Phoenix? Um, so let's flyaware.com slash live slash uh, find flight slash k r n o slash k p h x. And I could tell from the nacelles in one of the other pictures that it's an American uh, U.S. Airways. I'm oh, sorry, yes, U.S. Airways flight. So here, here's one. It's landed already. Um, here we want, there we go, that's a good one, takes that path, alright, um, download the KML, and you bring it into Google Earth, yeah, set it up so you can, Try and get figure out what angle it was taken from. Just a rough estimate. Rough guess. Let's see. Something like that. Let's see. This is about somewhere between these two, a little closer to Papoose over there. So we want something about Oh, about like that, probably. Maybe a little bit more this way. Something like that. Alright. That's so where we, we are. About... About like one-third the way between this point and this point. So, th these are coordinates we can get from the track log, so... Um, this is let's see 116 14 minutes that'd be like 116.25 west so let's see 16.25 here 116.24 all right so that's this one and then the next, the other one's 163.39, so third away between them, that's, uh, that's fifth, uh, let's see, wait, oh, I did the wrong one, sorry, two, four, and the other one would be three, nine, not one, three, uh, so that's what, 15, so we'll take five, we'll say 116.29, uh, this is 36.59, uh, so that's 6, so we'll take a third of that, and we'll say 2, so we'll say 36.61, negative 116.29, so we'll add a photo, 36 point, what do we say, 61, negative 116.29, uh, the altitude was 39,000 feet. So that's 39,000 feet to meters. 11887.2. Alright, that's a good start. Let's just throw the photo in there. Takes a minute to load, I guess, because it's big. And because I'm recording, probably. Alright, um. I'm gonna point it like straight down right now. Let's point it straight out. Make this thing half opaque. And let's just start adjusting the heading and the tilt. Let's see. Heading. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty good. Alright. Uh, that's a good start. 
Oh, that's really good. Now I won't even have to. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. It's actually really lucky. I wasn't. I wouldn't expect it to be that good, but <sighs> makes my job easier. All right. You can adjust the field of view on this because the aircraft window is going to screw that up. It's like three panes of glass or whatever. I don't know <laughs> what they make them out of. In fact, probably not even along horizontal and vertical. Let's try and get it to line up. It's pretty close. I think it's rolled a little bit. I don't know. Not that way. Ooh, too much, probably. I don't know. I, I mean, at this point, it's, it's really more of an art than a science, so. Um, although I'm sure there's an algorithm you could use to figure this out if you were really, really smart. Alright, that's probably pretty good, actually. Alright, so if we drag it all the way to clear, bring it over to opaque, you can flip it back and forth by moving off it a little bit. I mean, that's I mean, that's pretty close. I mean, you can sit around here for a little while longer, I mean, but we did this in like five minutes, so, you know, just you know, spend another ten on it, you get it really close. And that's, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's really not that hard. Uh, you need to make sure you have terrain turned on and that your elevation exaggeration is set to one. That's actually really important.